this. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use MVP in Roblox Studio. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a leader start script. Um, I will make a paste bin so you can copy it, but you can copy it here if you want to. Doesn't really matter. I'll just speed up the process to make your life easier. Okay, and that's the leader start script done. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to the we're gonna create another script and this is gonna be the main script, so I'll just name it main. And then what we can do is a while loop. So while true do wait I don't know uh fifteen And then I'm going to create a variable up here. So I'll go and replicate storage and create a remote event called MVP. And then we're going to do local MVP equals game dot replicate storage dot MVP. And then you want to go to start a GUI and add a screen GUI, add a frame. You can customize it how you want to. I'm going to make it really basic. Okay, so the image label. I'm going to name player image and then create a text label at the very top and then put background to fancy one. I'm going to put it as Garamond, put text color to white, scale it, and the text will just be MVP. Copy that, paste it down here, put this name as title, and then put this name as player name. And then put the text with player name, and this, and then this will be called most cash. Or you can you can do whatever you want, like most clicks or whatever. I'll just do this as most cash zero. Okay, then you want to add a local script inside of here. Call this main. Okay, so now we can do local MVP equals game dot replicate storage dot MVP, and then we can do a we can do MVP dot on client event connect function, and then in here we want to put um just do best player let's find best player okay and then we can go into the main script and then we can create a function up here called get max and then we can put stat okay so the first thing we want to do is get so we can decide if there's a player so so player is basically equals to mvp and there's no mvp so far and then we can do local value is minus math dot huge And then we can do local temp, so we can use temp later on. And then we can get uh, put equals minus math dot huge. Don't just put 
uh, minus five are huge. So we're going we're gonna to get all the players in the game using iPads. So or you can use pairs, but I don't think that'll work for this. So we do four underscore comma player in iPads game dot players get players do and then what we can do is we can set temp to a value so we can do temp equals player dot leader stats dot cash dot value instead of just writing cash we can write stat dot value we and then we can do if brackets temp is more than value player equals p so player equals player and then we can do uh, value equals temp okay and then the last thing we can do is go down to and return player let's change this from player to p because we have three values set as player so let's just do for p for p and then we can do player equals p so this is a function now okay so what now we want to do is create a variable under here so we can do local best player equals get max and then we can write cash because cash is the stat and then we can do if best player in brackets so if best player so if there's an MVP then we can fire the remote event that we have up here so we can do MVP fire all clients and then best player so now we can use best player in this script and then what we're going to do is create some variables above it so we're going to do local frame equals script dot parent local player image equals uh, frame dot player image local player name equals frame dot player name and then we can do local most cash equals frame dot most cash okay and then what we're gonna do is MVP dot visible not MVP frame dot visible equals a true and then under this we can do wait a frame dot visible equals false and then we're gonna do player image dot image equals and then we're gonna do local context and it's gonna equals the context equals to nothing so we're gonna write the code for the GUI so like the players image okay so what we're gonna do is local thumb type so local thumb type equals enum dot thumbnail type dot headshot you can use any other one you want I'm gonna do local thumb size goes enum dot thumb size dot 420 size 420 and then we can do local context equals so we can delete this one now and above this we can do local user id equals best player dot user id so we need to get the user's id to get their image basically we can do game dot players get 
user thumbnail I think user ID comma uh, thumb type comma thumb size thumb size so player image will equal to context player name dot text equals best player dot name <coughs> and then we can do most cache dot text equals um, most cache dot dot best player dot leader stats dot cache dot value and inside of so we're just gonna close this we're gonna go into this this script we can do if player dot name equals equals my roblox username then player dot lead and we can do cash dot value plus equals 150 wait one second or five now if there is any errors we can obviously fix them but we're going to load into the game we are, i've not tested this but i'm going to hope that it works so our cache goes up we're going to go in the output see if there are any errors okay no errors so far we're going to wait that 15 seconds and you see i'm the mvp it says my name shows my image and it says that i had the most cash with 150 cash and then it's going to repeat this again i'm the mvp so i'm going to go into the player image make the background run fancy to one and then in the in here i'm going to do a wow wait five do and five seconds so if we play the game um i have zero cash and i have 150 so it should pop up any second now see mvp it's my name most cash 300 okay so that was how to create an mvp in your roblox game so if you did enjoy like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one which will pro probably be in about three months because i never upload bye